gaming is riddled with censorship. From the olden days of changing Contra to Protector in Europe, to the more recent cases of taking out cleavage on the Persona 5 boxer. Sonic is no stranger to censorship either, so here are the top 7 cases of censorship in Sonic. During the initial release of Sonic Adventure for the Dreamcast, many retailers were given a demo disc to showcase the game in stores to get shoppers' attention. Unlike many other demos where you get to play a sample of the game, this was an auto demo, a pre-scripted playthrough of a few of the game's levels and cutscenes, similar to the gameplay demos that play when you leave the game on the title screen, or when Ubisoft is showcasing its upcoming live service. Burn. Hackers got a hold of this demo and hacked it to be playable, allowing players to see what beta or alpha elements were changed or removed. The most notable one to start this list off is how Amy's dress rises much higher when falling than in the final game. I guess they thought it would look more realistic, but Modesty took a dive at the back window when you remember that she is 12 and is frowned upon in the US of A and especially Europe with a strict censorship laws. So Amy's dress was lowered to be a bit more modest when it came time for the final release. Though you could still see her panties either way. Still sticking with Sonic Adventure, this entry is actually in the Japanese release. In the stage Casinoopolis, there is a neon display of a cowgirl with a cocktail. Now that would be it, but touching the sign will let out a suggestive moan. <laughs> not wanting to sexualize anything in the Sonic universe, at least not before Rouge the Bat made her debut, this was changed in a western release to a generic Vegas style marquee of the stage name and two of the pinball attractions. Reading manuals and guides before they were supplanted by warranty cards and online manuals were and still are fun to read to get that little bit of insight into the game's world and characters. Without them we would not know what their ages are, what foods they like and how they feel about their developing bodies. But yeah, prior to the release of Sonic the Hedgehog 2006, an internal document used by Sega was leaked which contained the entire game script as well as extended profiles for the major characters. In Blaze's profile, it is stated that she is bothered by her under-endowed chest. None of this is brought up in any translation, and I'm pretty sure she doesn't want us talking about it. I will never get why the backwards middle finger hand sign is offensive. Then again, in the UK, it's a similar thing to showing two fingers backwards. It's the reason why the box art for Left 4 Dead 2 was changed. But Sonic would never do something this vulgar in an animated show, right? Yeah, he did. This scene always bothered me as a kid. Maybe because I never understood it, but you can clearly see that the localization team tried so hard to cover it by making it his index finger. But that does raise small questions as to why Sonic would even show his index finger to Metal Robotnik. <laughs> Profanity is frowned upon in society and shows a lack of creativity when speaking. I found it to be an easy shortcut and a good way to exacerbate things. You. But when it comes to video games, and especially a family friendly blue marsupial, Saying the word hell or damn isn't exactly what we have in mind, but it's exactly what happened in Sonic Adventure 2 and Shadow the Hedgehog. Though the word damn is spoken quite often in Shadow's case, the word hell was ripped straight out. Originally it was spoken once in the trial version of Sonic Adventure 2 upon Sonic's aerial escape, and also in the intro to Shadow the Hedgehog. Even though the word was taken out of the dialogue spoken and the subtitles, Shadow still mouths the word hell. This was still the dark period of Sonic where cussing was seen as edgy. Sonic X is a wash with localization edits. Words blurred, symbols removed, and not to mention a serious case of more cussing. This wouldn't be too bad as 4Kids is known for editing a lot of stuff out of animes to make them, well, 4Kids. One of the strangest and sort of reasonable edits they did was airbrushing out Rouge's cleavage and making her buzz slightly smaller. I mean I kind of get it, it is a kid show after all, but come on, they're one of the two reasons people like that character. Other than having a great personality, professional jewel thief, the agent, a gun, and she could easily kill me. Yeah, we're going back to this game. If you thought that swearing was a bit mild, that's nothing compared to what was scaled back to make this an E10 rating. Red blood changing to green is nothing new, but Shadow the Hedgehog cut out stuff that wouldn't appear in the western version. The intro was much longer, actually showing gun soldiers getting shot, and Blur Studio, the animators behind the CGI cutscenes of the game, showcased a segment where you see Maria actually get shot in a flashback. I mean, damn! I know Cheryl is supposed to be dark and such, but this is going too far! Especially if what seems to be a cartoon hedgehog packing hate. 